<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kat. And um, I know I said that on this uh, new channel that I wanted to do like more tags, get to know me stuff, um, along with doing my uh, makeup. Um, unfortunately, I have allergies right now, um, on my eyes, so I'm not going to be doing my makeup, but I am going to be doing this tag, um, and it has to do with, um, growing up Asian Americans, so the tag is growing up Asian American tag, and the video I found was from K Choi and I will leave her um video and channel link down below. This is the um channel and as you can see right there it's K Choi and she has the questions down here there are nine of them so I'm going to answer them um some of them are a little bit um um not personal but they're gonna be um maybe a little hard to um answer because I haven't really um given it too much thought um and you'll see why from certain answers and there's an adopt D tag um that I saw too and it has to do with um Asian, um, kids who were brought to, uh, the Americas and their, um, kind of experience of growing up adopted, um, as an Asian kid in America. And, um, I am one of those. I am half Korean, um, I don't know what my other half is. I call myself Korean Irish because my birth parents are Irish or um, I actually kind of hate that when um, people say, do you want to find your um, birth parents? I just messed up my adopted parents. Um, I don't know my birth parents, but I hate when... Um, people say to me, do you want to meet your real parents, your birth parents? And it's like, no, the people who raised me, those are my real parents. Um, I was adopted when I was three or four months old. So they're, they are the only parents I know and they have loved me unconditionally. And, um, there was definitely some tough times and um, some stuff I don't think the adoption agency really um, was very clear with them, which is very common with um, overseas adoptions. Um, they just, you know, kind of want to get the kid adopted and out of the orphanage and not be their responsibility. So, um, it's, uh, it's, um, a good thing adoption, but it can be very cruel and, um, miss uh a lot of um deceit and mischievousness happening because um i have heard horror stories of where doctors and stuff haven't disclosed full medical cases and people think that they're you know maybe getting kid a kid who's just going to have like learning disabilities or something and they end up with, like, a kid who has severe autism who's never going to be able to take care of themselves. So I um, commend anyone who adopts a child and is able to, you know, raise them and see it through and um, still want to... Um, be associated with that child even once the uh, child 
has reached the age of 18 because I also have heard stories of kind of once um, an adopted kid has reached 18, it's kind of like they're out the door and they're not really family anymore, which is also heartbreaking. But um, let's get into these questions and you can kind of uh, maybe get an idea of what it was like for me growing up um, as an adopted uh, Asian child from overseas by um, white parents. So the first question is what what ethnic which ethnic ethnicity are you i am half korean um i said like i said i say irish because my um parents who my adoptive parents uh who raised me are irish and i consider them my um real parents so i consider myself irish korean even though i really am not Okay, um, number two, which generation are you? I am first generation um, Asian American. I, uh, as I know of, I don't know if there are other um, children or uh, brothers and sisters um, or half brothers and sisters of mine who are running around out there as uh, far as I know, I am a first generation um, American Asian or Asian American. Um, number three, what is the first experience where you felt the demarcation of being a minority slash different? Um, it would have to be when I got to um elementary school um in elementary school is when i first realized that um i was uh the minority there wasn't a lot i was the only mixed um asian uh, kid and uh, I was the only Korean kid in my elementary school. There uh, was four elementary schools in the town where I grew up and where I lived. Um, the elementary school that I went to, I was the only Korean kid um I think, or no, I think there was one guy who was Korean, but I think it was mainly Japanese and Chinese who, kids who were, um, in my school, and, um, I tried to make friends with them because, you know, they were Asian, and, um, I did consider myself Asian because my parents did a really good job of um, teaching teaching me my culture, um, teaching me about the traditional um, clothing that would be worn, and they would take me to uh, Flushing, Queens, to uh, go to museums and different things to learn about my heritage, and they would take me to um, Korean restaurants to go eat. I love Korean barbecue. Um, my One of my favorite things is, I don't know the name of it because unfortunately I don't speak Korean, um, is those long circular rice cakes in the hot sauce. Those are so good. And then um, Korean barbecue, I love. I could eat Korean barbecue all day and all night, but that shit is expensive but it is so good um and uh what else um i what i started raving about um how good korean food was um 
I realized that I wasn't, you know, um, accepted by the other Asian kids because um, I couldn't speak Japanese or I couldn't speak Chinese. And um, they thought it was weird that I had a white parent. Um, they didn't understand um, adoption because especially especially in the Asian culture, adoption is a very shameful thing. Like if I was to show up on the door of my um, adopted mother um, in Korea, she would basically slam the door in my face and want nothing to do with me because I would bring great shame to her and her new family because I was a um daughter who was born out of wedlock and unfortunately um girls are not um held in the highest regards um in asian culture they want boys but um i don't understand that because if you have a huge sausage fest how are you going to uh repopulate the um society if you don't have women but um that's just what i think um what is the next question um i think i answered that question uh number four um or sorry, number three. Now I'm on to question number four. When you were you always proud of your heritage, or was there a time you rejected it? Um, I was always proud of it. My parents told me from uh as much as uh from you know much as um. My parents told me, you know, as far back as I can remember, um, I was born in Korea. I don't remember living in Korea because I wasn't there for that long, but we did uh, move all over Asia for a little bit. So we were in Singapore. Um, I do remember being in Singapore for a little bit. Um, my dad was in the army. So, um, you know, as army families do, we moved around a lot. Um, my dad was stationed in Asia for a while and then he, uh, quit, was, um, uh, not dishonorably, honorably, he was honorably discharged and, um, we, uh, came to New York and we've been in New York ever since. Um, okay, uh, number five. Uh, what are some stereos stereotypes that you struggle with? Um, I hate it when people ask me, uh, if I eat cat or dog. Um, no, I don't. Just because I have tattoos of Hello Kitty on me does not mean I eat cats. And just because I have two cats does not mean that they are going to become my dinner. Um, I get very offended when people ask me if I eat cat or dog. Um, I also, um... I know with Asians, like, we get a lot of the good stereotypes, um, like, we're good at math, we're good at, um, you know, physics and engineering and stuff, um, I'm trying to think, uh, um, which I, uh, we also have the, uh, we're horrible at driving, which, uh, unfortunately is true. I'm horrible at driving. I'm a nervous driver. Um, I don't trust anyone when I'm driving, especially when you're driving in Manhattan. It's, uh, it just, I'm too nervous of a person to drive. So, um, I guess that's true about, um, you know, stereotypes. I'm a bad, uh, female Asian driver, but, um, yeah, I'm not 
good at academics, I'm good at art, and I'm good at, well, I'm good at reading, I'm good at science, math, and, like, physics, and all of that, I'm not good at, I'm good at, like, basic science, basic, basic math, if I, um, you know, I have to use a calculator to do, uh, division and multiplication, I can't do math in my head, so, um, I don't think I live up to the Asian stereotypes. Um, number six, can you speak your language? I can only say, um, Anyaseyo, which is, um, hello, goodbye. Uh, it's kind of like aloha in, um, uh, Hawaiian culture, um, that's all I know, yeah, that's all I know how to say is anyaseyo, um, I, that's the one thing my parents didn't teach me was how to speak Korean, um, <clears throat> number seven, <clears throat> excuse me, I need a little sippy sip, um, number seven, how has being Asian American fed how has being Asian American affected your relationship with your parents? Um, I don't think it ha um, it hasn't been negative in any way because my parents, um, have lived abroad in Asian countries and, um, they've lived, you know, in, um, Korea, they lived in Singapore, so they kind of, uh, know, um, the culture and how they live, and they really liked living, um, in Asia, so I don't feel like they, um, sorry, what was the question? Um, it really hasn't affected my, uh, relationship with my parents, and, um, when I would get really bratty, they would tell me, you know, how much tougher I would have it in Asia, and, um, I would, because, um, they don't have the SATs which you take at 18, and even if you don't do well with that, you can still go to college. You take a test at the age of 16, and if you don't pass that test, uh, your life is over, basically, and that's why there is, unfortunately, such a high suicide rate for uh, young people because everything is so dependent on this one test and there's only four um, prestigious schools that and if you don't get into one of those four prestigious schools um, you're not going to get a good job which means you're not going to make a lot of money you're not going to uh, get a, a good wife and you're not going to be able to support a family and it just you know spirals and spirals and spirals and um, that unfortunately is why the suicide rate is so high um, in Asia um, okay, the next question is, uh, number eight, how do you feel about your heritage now? Do you identify with it? Um, I identify as Korean, um, I don't look like it, or if I do tell people that I am Korean, I get told that, um, wow, that your uh, plastic surgeon did a really good job on your uh, surgery, meaning they think they've, they think I've had my eyes um, rounded and um, I've had the double eyelid put in and they think I've had my nose slimmed and um, someone has even thought that I've had um, the leg strength, the leg breaking and, um, lengthening surgery where they basically, um, chop your legs in half and put a metal rod in there to make you taller. So, um, 
I guess it's uh, a compliment that they think I've spent so much money on plastic surgery and that I've gotten such great natural results, but uh, this is just uh, a mix. This is what we look like. So um, it, it, I can laugh at it now. Um, if you can't laugh at it, you'll, you'll cry. Um, and then what, then, uh, number nine is the last question. What is your favorite, bleh, what is your favorite thing about being Asian American and your heritage? Um, I like that I, um, Hmm, what is my favorite thing about being Asian American? Um, I like that I have, um, two, basically, uh, I, I have at least two, um, you know, heritages, heritages that, um, I can learn about and, um, basically, um, because I am adopted, uh, the, uh, limit, the, uh, l the opportunities are kind of limitless. Um, sometimes I have negative thoughts and, um, I, it sneaks in and, you know, will affect my mood and sometimes I have positive thoughts about it and it's definitely um it's definitely um I think harder because I'm adopted um I don't know who my real parents are so sometimes I wonder um what a I know the answer that I wouldn't have been better off in Korea um I basically would be a disgrace to my family. They wouldn't want anything to do with me. So it's kind of like um, I would get bullied there or get bullied here. And um, I kind of prefer the bullying I get here, which is kind of sad that um, it's like, well, would you rather get this bullying or would you get rather get that bullying? And it's both racially um, based um, and it's about stuff that I can't control. But I am proud that I am a uh, Korean American. I wouldn't change it for anything else. So, um, if you are a Asian American, um, I, uh, tag you to do this tag. Um, I will leave all the questions down below. Um, and yeah, uh, if this tag doesn't, uh, get too personal for you, I would love to, uh, hear you got, hear your guys' answers to it. And, um, I hope I didn't bring you down too much with, uh, some of the, um, not happy stuff I've had to, uh, deal with, with, um, my life. Um, I'm going to do the adoptee tag next. Um, so you guys get to know what it's like to be adopted, especially, um, as a Asian American. Um, spoiler alert, it's, um, much better that I'm here in America adopted and, um, my Asian mother didn't keep me. So, um, it's kind of rough to realize that, you know, your, um, real, your birth or original life would, uh, be a lot more horrible than, um, you know, if you weren't saved and adopted by people. So I thank my mom and dad immensely for adopting me and loving me unconditionally and, you know, raising me as their own and never, um, not treating me like I'm not their kid. Um, I definitely think I would have a lot more problems if, um, they didn't treat me 
as one of their own, and, um, I kind of wish they got me a brother or a sister just to kind of, um, build my social skills, because I feel like, um, my social skills are a little bit held back compared to normal people's, because I didn't, you know, grow up with, um, you know, another kid in the household. It was just me and my parents, and my parents are, um, of the older age, so it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you think of this video down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, and, uh, see you in the next video.